Hi there. This model is actually a new version of uh, one of the very earliest projects that I made with Arduino, which was a, an automatic uh, car barrier model. I made that for my eldest son, which was uh, four years old at the time. He really liked these uh, kind of things. So um, I used it a little. It wasn't very good because I only was just beginning uh, learning about these uh, Arduino and electronics. But uh, recently I decided to go back to this model and renovate it and make it um, more uh, uh, solid and fun. So this one is based on batteries. It has a um, on-off switch here. Okay, this this was the um, uh, powering up of the servo motor because in this state, unlike the previous model, actually, in this state of um, of rest. It, uh, the servo is disconnected from any power, so it doesn't uh, draw any current from the batteries. Also, it's very cheap Chinese servo, which is um, has a lot of issues of uh, jittering and stuff, so I um, minimized that as possible. So the Arduino here, it's an Arduino Pro Mini. It controls, this is the uh, servo connections. And you can see here a transistor which the Arduino operates to, to connect the, um, the servo to ground actually and give it power whenever it's needed. The remote here, on the previous model it was an RF kit um, based remote which was very bad because the RF kits are bad and because I didn't know anything about it. So this time around I made a um, this little board called Picadom which I uh, designed recently for uh, many purposes, it's basically um, in based on a PIC 12F1840, uh, and uh, it's based on a it powers from a um, CR2032 battery, and and it can um, uh, transmit with uh, infrared LEDs. So I programmed this with some uh, secret code. And here is the RF receiver, sorry, the IR receiver, the infrared receiver, which goes back to the Arduino as a, um, actually it's, uh, it sends a, a signal that's very similar to a UART um, incoming um, signal, so the Arduino sees that as an uh, incoming UART, the remote signal, and I'll just click this, you can see, there, so the light blinks, the the arm is raised and you have this light here you can see it comes from here which is the uh, obstacle detection light see it closes automatically after a couple of seconds and turns off the light now the, the red light here is actually a decoration light that um, senses the light in the environment and uh, I'll try to... there I pointed the uh, sensor the uh, light dependent resistor that's in here to the uh, light in the room so we turned off the um, decoration light but when I put it somewhere dark it senses that there's not much light around sorry and um, turns it on now let's, let's show you the um, the obstacle sense in action this begins to close, I'll put my arm in the way of the light there. it sensed that uh, something was obstructing the light so it decided this is uh, like a car coming through or something so it keeps the, the arm open the range is not very uh, high for this um, the LED is uh, quite uh, small and weak and the um, the current that you can draw from this battery is not very high as well so this is about um, maybe 40 50 centimeters but beyond that it also um, I should show you that uh, you can press this and reopen the arm even in, in midway that was the remote but the range is uh, perhaps one meter at the best so um, this is less than one meter. Let me try. Yeah, it 
worked, but uh, very limited uh, range, but that's okay because um, just a toy. So here we have um, six AA batteries, a voltage regulator that's actually on the other side of the board. I soldered it here because there was no uh, heavy um, SMD part and this fit in nicely. This gives the Arduino the 5 volts it needs, 5 volts it needs and also uh, powers direct power for the um, for the servo when it's on. I uh, made some har uh, harnesses for the uh, for the lines. This is the RX goes to the RX of the Arduino. That's um that's the signal coming from here from the receiver, the infrared receiver, uh, and all the lights, different lights, and the uh, signal from the light dependent resistor goes all the way down and through here it comes out let me see if I can show you that it comes out here from the bottom and into the Arduino as a part of a voltage divider the usual way of sensing uh, light for uh, beginner projects and um, this is it actually this is the project I'll show it to my son when he comes home from school I hope he remember. I hope he remembers what it's all about because it's been a few years. But uh, we'll see. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.